heart of Macau, where the old streets wind. The lights are just coming on, and we got the street called Hua de Nasora Senora de Amparo, or Our Lady of Amparo. Um, and this street right here is where the traffic uh, comes up, and then parallel with it is Hua dos Invernarios, which is um, right over here, which is the pedestrian side of it. And then there'll be all these beautiful kind of boutiques, all kinds of cool stuff. So we're going to ch check that out as well. But we're going to be starting and focusing on the Amparo, Our Lady of Amparo. So stay tuned for that. Okay, so we have a beautiful little street today. And this is another slice of Macau, as if you don't already know. And I'm going to put it up on the map behind me. And this has a lot of history to it. So, um, so you can see the map, and then I'm going to do a translation so you can see the Portuguese translation and the Chinese translation. And then, knowing that information, I created a song. So it kind of has like this Portuguese element, but I put a little bit of Chinese characters into it. So you're going to hear that as well. And it kind of talks, you can hear, see the lyrics behind me already. But um, Our Lady of Amparo is, the, um, is Mother Mary in English, um, the mother of Jesus. So it's like the protector. So Mother Mary the protector of the street and then also the reference to this being a border gate because this area right here was the Portuguese settlement went into the Chinese settlements and up into the um, all of China. So this was a customs house area. So there's a reference to the street being that and the Mother Mary reference as well. So that song is coming up next and I'll do a preview of the street with that song and then we'll do the walk and talk and you want to hear that too because I'll navigate through through all of this and um, kind of explain what you're seeing. So anyways, another beautiful little slice of Macau for you. In the height of Macau, the athletes they do. There's a street that tells a story both old and true. One tango guy where customs once stood. Front and back, a gate to the neighborhood. Oh, the Nossa Senhora do Amparo. Walking down Guanqiang Ho Jie, memories unfold, customs and gates, stories untold from the front to the back, every step we take. That goes of history, the path we make. Orua de Nossa Senhora do Amparo, Street of Our Lady, where we find our star. Mother Mary, the protector and a blend of cultures, a beautiful place. Walk it that welcomes all. Turn the front where we stand tall. Hold back where stories reside. Yeah, the streets where cultures collide. Orua de Nossa Senhora do Amparo. Street of our A beautiful place The gate of the east meets west We walk these streets feeling truly blessed From Guanquian, Hojin, Rasa, Senora, Gopalu We celebrate the past, present and tomorrow Check out these buildings like that. Lights are coming down. And you got some alleys and patios that are also equally interesting. And the lights are just coming on, so um, so it's going to start to illuminate this whole area soon. And you can see the. The beauty coming out already from that. And I'm going to um, kind of crisscross a little bit just to give you the full context of this Amparo Street. 
So to do that, I'm going to go down in here briefly. And show you some of this. This is a little Travessa de Dorna. And then down here, oh, we got lots of cool stuff everywhere in here. So this is a pedestrian street right here called Empanarios. And we're gonna um, be on the parallel street, but it's here. And then down this way, we also have um, this little area as well. And it looks like it's a little bit close today, so so usually there's a shop right here. And they got some lanterns and bird cages that go all the way down that way as well. And then you got um, a gelato ice cream. Hello. It's new? It's new new restaurant? Sorry. New? It's a new place? Yeah. Oh, how how new is it? One month, two months? No, no, it's a uh, long time? Month, no. Three months. Oh, three months. Oh, okay. My first time to see it. You can't hear before? Uh, never. I never saw it before. Ah, uh, three months. Yeah, three months we get this shop. Yeah. Oh, okay. Good. Yeah, three months, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Sounds good. Thank you. So you got some fresh gelato from um, from Portugal or from Italy or? No, this one is uh, Sicilian style, Italian style. Oh, Sicilian. Oh, okay, good. Yeah. I, I thought it. I thought it might have been. <laughs> yes, Italian style. That sounds good. I'm gonna come by. Are you guys open for a little while? Sorry. Are you open for? How late? What time do you close? We open from 10 a.m. to 8 p.m. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna come by. I'll be back sure. in like 30 minutes, and I'm gonna have one. Thank you. Thank you. So, thank you. Thank you very much. So a little gelato shop right there. Oops, sorry. So uh, from Sicily. Sicilian style. Southern Italy. So I'm gonna. And there's some of the ice creams right there. Too. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna come and get some more. <laughs> oh, here's all the flavors right here too. Okay. So let me kind of also fill in this shop here too. So we have a coffee shop right here. So this one always does really good business as well. So they always have a group of people here and so they got good coffee. And so let's... Um, we're going to go back to our Target Street, which is over that side. And I think I'm going to stick to this alley first. And it looks like we got some people down here. I'm going to come down there and see what that's all about in a minute. So we, we're going to check that out, but I'm going to go in first. We got to get back to our Target Street. But it looks like the food truck right there, which is a place I usually will stop by and support, almost always. So that's our target street right there. It's a little tourist shop here. So yeah, the lighting is just, just about right as well. So I'm gonna come back and support the gelato Sicilian ice cream. And I'm also going to come by back and support this food truck as well. Let me kind of come up here real quick as well since it's kind of on our street. So this little Calzada do Amparo is a little side street. So let's just go up it briefly. And this also goes all the way up to Sao Paulo Ruins as well. And they've been building, here's another gelato place, another ice cream, uh, black sugar pearls, milk tea. And then here, a lot of people are doing um, Instagram photo shots here. And if you follow all the way up, this has now biryani and some Indian food right there, which I'm kind of tempted to get. Then you have our, um, kind of our uh, tourist oriented stuff. Huh, look at this. Bacayao and spicy sardine tart. Huh. There's just a lot of stuff. I, I like to get biryani now, I want to get the ice cream, and I want to stop over at food truck as well. No. And the lighting is just about right as well for filming. So this is kind of cool. Mm. 
I talked to this person once before too. They have this tonic that's kind of good for everything. You can see there's a food truck right there. It's pretty busy. I'll stop by there in a little bit as well. Okay. So yeah, the, the other street comes in right over there. There's also a Vero as well. Guess I'm gonna come over real quick. You got some nice artwork here too. And that also comes down to a Veru. So I'm gonna check that out in a few minutes. And go down that way. Looks like that one's busy today. I'll go down that way as well in a little bit. But let's finish our street. So we're gonna um, go down a little bit. So that particular one is um, new, Aveiro. So they have um, desserts from the from the city of Aveiro, Portugal. And I had one of them, I didn't film it. And it was pretty tasty. I had like a marshmallow and caramel for the traditional style of it. So we're kind of weaving in and out of our Target Street here. Check out those buildings right there. The pink one, the rooftop even up there. Okay. So we're gonna let's get over to one side here. And now we're gonna come over here. And at the base of our of uh, this particular street, we have this kind of um, um, Snoopy. So let me kind of show you show you this. So this is um, Evan Ayosh. Let's walk over a little bit. And then that's our target street right there. Let me walk like this. Now you can see, so that's our Target Street, and then that's the Parallel Street. So the cars go this way, and the pedestrians can go that way. And we also got some other interesting stuff in here too. Let me just um, kind of capture that from different angles there. <laughs> yeah, that's really, that's really cool. So now we have, um, so our target street um, is this one right here, and then um, just again to give you some background of, of all of these, those are those two streets. This is Estelagens, it goes all the way down to the port, then this is Mercados, Mercadores, which is the market that goes all the way um, towards um, San Malo. And then this goes up to um, kind of a popular tourist area. Lots of um, cool stuff up in that way. So our Target Street is up that way. And it ends right there. But just, just to give you some context of this space a little bit. We'll come up here. And so yeah, that area is connected to this area. So yeah, this is kind of a beautiful area. Then you can go back down these little alleys by going down this way. 
and we're on uh, St. Paul Street right there. So we basically came down this way, and then St. Paul Church is straight ahead. So we're gonna walk briefly in that direction. But you can kind of see it going, let me just kind of go like that. So St. Paul, uh, Paul's Church is right up that way. And ours was down this way. So we're on the other side of this one, and I'm gonna end the video right here. There. there we go. So this is kind of a busy area of Macau.